Hey guys, it is June 5th and um, we are in a car. We're in a Ford Focus, that's a nice car too. It's red and it's cool and I feel fancy and I connect to my phone. Anyway, that's another point. Um, so we're driving to, um, well, our final destination is Frederick, Maryland because that's where we're gonna restart the trail. We were gonna restart in Harpers Ferry, but four miles of the trail is closed there due to uh, water flooding, yeah. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive to uh, Harpers Ferry, get our tags, because you can get like your uh, halfway point tags kind of there. And then we're gonna drive to Frederick, drop the car off, and then start the trail uh, in Maryland where the nearest start area is. And um, so that's pretty much what we're gonna do. And uh, it's gonna be fun. We haven't been in a car in like, well, we haven't, mom hasn't driven a car in so long. It's nice to be in a car instead of walking with our feet. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I have my phone connected via Bluetooth on the um, radio system and stuff. And so I can play music from Spotify, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's going to be fun. So I'll see you guys later. So basically, we're going to skip a section um, to get... Uh, ahead and be on time before they close uh, Mount Katahdin in October and then we'll finish the section later when we're done with Katahdin. That's basically what's going to happen. It's still considered an AT through hike. Um, it's just done in a different way. So some people um, do northbound until Harbors Ferry and then skip to Katahdin and then walk back to Harpers Ferry that way like going northbound and then southbound. Some people start it um, Katahdin in Maine and then hike all the way to Georgia. Some people just do a section at a time and skip and this and that. So that's what we have to do to be on time to make sure we're on time so we're not stressing out and you know feeling defeated and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do. So we're kind of disappointed about doing that because we wanted to just start in um, Springer, Georgia, Springer Mountain, Georgia, and then go all the way to Maine, like all the way through. But um, it's not going to work out that way because we had to start out really slow you know me being overweight and out of shape and none of us backpacking ever in our lives and just doing light hiking in the past so <laughs> we had to get in shape and stuff but anyway so yeah we're on our way to West Virginia we're excited we've never been to that part of the country um, so we're excited to see it and uh, get back on the trail So we are in Walmart. We're stopping here for a minute and we are going to get Ethan, try to see if we can get Ethan a pair of pants for the trail. Um, his pants are getting way too big for him and they keep falling down and he keeps like trying to pull them up with his backpack on. So we're going to see what we can do. Okay guys, so we found a pair of pants for Ethan. He's a medium size eight now instead of a large because he lost all his soda weight <laughs> got some snacks and now we're headed back on the road hey guys so as you guys know we went to Walmart and got Ethan some pants and stuff and now we're back on the road we have about an hour an hour and 20 minutes I believe it was last time I checked um, before we get to Harbors Ferry we're gonna go there and get our tags that we never got because mom mom wants them because she thinks they're official and stuff no I just want to have tags yeah um, oh, there's Taco Bell. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I would like to um, address a subject that has been talked about in our um, comment section. Uh, so some people have been saying that mom needs to buy me some sticks, um, some trekking poles, but uh, I have declined that offer many times because I don't, I don't like it. I just, I just like my stick that I have, you know, my log. <laughs> um, because it's kind of like I want to bring it all the way to Katahdin and then have it go back home with me and then finish any other trail I do like if I do the PCT or the CDT later then I want to do that and then it could be a triple crowning stick it'll be pretty cool and um, so um, yeah it's not like I've de it's not like I'm not buying him sticks yeah. because I don't want to spend the money yeah like um, 
I respect like comments, you know, I understand you guys are just like trying to care and stuff, but um, he left his sticks at home. I was going to buy him sticks the next payday and um, he ended up finding a walking stick in nature. Wow. And he liked it. And I was like, well, let's buy some sticks. And he's like, no, I don't want to buy sticks. I like this. So that's all he knew on the trail. So when you're used to something and you're comfortable with it, that's what you want. Yeah. So he has had that stick from not day one, but pretty much, you know, uh, in Georgia. Since Blood Mountain, I think. Yeah, since Blood Mountain and since Georgia. And he wants, to, he wants it to be like a memento, like something yeah. to remember the Appalachian Trail through hike that we're doing. Yeah. So it's not like I'm trying to save money and I'm not wanting to spend. Someone said, well, when you lost your shoe, you went and bought yourself shoes. You should have got him sticks. Well, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's not the same scenario at all. Like, you guys don't know what's happening behind the scenes all the time because I we only show, like, what, 20 minutes, give or take? Yeah, something like that. Um, per video. And, I, you know, it's okay to ask questions or be concerned and stuff like that. But, you know, just try not to assume because, like, I have tried to tell him we need to get you walking um, poles or whatever they're called multiple times. And he has declined. He's 14 years old. I'm not going to force him to do something he's not comfortable with. Um, it's not going to hurt him. It's not going to hurt his growing body. <laughs> no offense. It's a freaking walking oh stick. Gosh, it is I a know. stick. They sell those sticks at the AT stores. They sell them at grocery stores around the AT. I mean, you know, they're just more fancied up. Yeah. You know? Um, Black, not waxed. Um, like lacquer or whatever. Yeah, something like that. I forgot what it's called. But, like, I'm doing what's in the best interest of my children and I understand that he wants that to be like a memento. Like something to forever to remember his walk on the AT, his hike on the AT. And um, that stick is very special to him. So, you know, that'll probably go in his room against the wall sometime, you know. So, that's that's the answer to that question. Yeah. Okay. So, um, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys. So, we are almost to Harper's Ferry. I believe we have, what, 18 more miles to go, I believe. I think 13 or 18. I can't remember. But anyway, so, I'm exhausted. We only stopped one time. No, twice. Um, once for Ethan to go to the bathroom on the side of the road, and then once to, to Walmart. We bought Ethan that pair of pants and stuff. But uh, we're almost to Harper's Ferry. We need to stop and get some gas, and then we're gonna go get our tags. I've wanted the tags for a long time. You could tell we were not that prepared when we started this hike. <laughs> Anyway, so we're almost there. I'm really excited. Um, like, we're, we're still disappointed that we had to skip a section and then go back to it, but we know it's still considered a full through hike as long as we do every mile. But it's like eating us in the back of our minds, like bothering us a lot. Huh, oh, Richie? Yeah. It bothers us. We're not gonna lie, it really bothers us. But it's still, it's still the same the same accomplishment, the same challenge, the same everything. It's just that we'll have two finish lines instead of one. So, because you can't have a finish without one or the other. <laughs> so, anyway. Are those hikers? No, those are just kids. Oh, kids. Anyway, so, I guess we will touch base when we get to Harper's Ferry. Okay, guys, so we came to Harper's Ferry and registered at the AT Conservancy, the Appalachian Trail Conservancy, since we never registered in Georgia when we started the hike um, on April 5th um, at Springer Mountain. Um, <clears throat> so we have our official tags. Let me have the tag, Ethan. Let me show. Give me the tag. We have our official tags, finally. Anyway, we want those for like keepsakes, you know? Anyway, so I'm under a lot of stress today, so I was a little bit stressful in there. Like, I'm extremely stressed out. A lot happened today. It just seems like things are happening one after another today, like not going smoothly at all. And I'm also hormonal right now, so I'm PMSing basically. And uh, I'm just, I'm under a lot of stress today. But anyway, we gotta go return this rental car. And um, after that, we are gonna figure out where we're gonna start the trail. So, I guess that's all to share right now. If anyone saw me acting stressed out around, 
I'm sorry. I'm just under a lot of stress today and I'm not going to share everything that happened today, <laughs> but I'm just under a lot of stress. So I apologize if I seemed stressful, but uh, that's just what's going on right now. But anyway, we got to get going. Hey guys, so we turned in the car and uh, now we're headed back to the um, hotel. We're going to have to walk there because we know no one over here. <laughs> But we're used to walking, so it's not like a big deal. It's not really gonna hurt us. It looks like it's gonna rain, so we're hoping it doesn't rain. But even if it does, we're used to that too. So it's not like, you know, anything um, out of the ordinary for us right now anyway. Um, let's see, what else? I guess that's about it right now. <laughs> 